Hello guys, well done for all your uh, good maths work the last few days. Um, you did really well with today's work. Okay, I marked um, I marked my classes and Mr. Brannigan's classes, and everyone did really well. Okay, so um, I really liked how you were multiplying if the if the fractions were getting bigger, while the numbers were getting bigger, or you were dividing if the numbers were getting smaller. Okay, so today we're going to be comparing fractions, and we're going to be saying which fraction is greater and which fractions are smaller. Okay, now remember, greater means it's bigger. And smaller obviously means there's less of it, it's less, okay? Now, I'm going to turn my screen around, but you might think that, well, whatever number is bigger in a fraction makes it the biggest fraction, but that's not the case, okay? So I'm going to show you my screen now, and I'm going to show you how that works, okay? So you should be able to see my screen now. You can see I've got one quarter here and I've got one sixth, okay? Now you might think, oh, well, six is bigger in the denominator there, so a sixth is bigger. But that's not the case, okay? Because if you remember, this means it's been the one whole, the one cake has been split into six parts, okay? Whereas here, the whole, the cake has been split into four parts. And if I cut the, if I have two of the same cakes, and I cut one into four parts, and I cut one into six parts, well, the one in the four parts, you're going to get bigger parts, aren't you? Okay. So if Mr. O'Brien eats one part of the cake that's been cut into six, okay, and he eats one part of the cake that's been cut into one pit, one part of the cake that's been cut into six. And one part of the cake that's been cut into four, well, you can see here that one quarter is bigger than one sixth. Okay, if I draw that line down there, you can see that if the cake has been cut into four and you've eaten one piece, you've eaten more than if the cake's been cut into six and you've eaten one piece. Okay, so I can write here that one quarter. Is greater than one sixth, and you can see how that works. Okay, you can see it works because if I split this one into four parts and this one into six, well, this has got less parts, so it's going to be bigger. Okay, now you're going to be asked to find which ones are greater, and then you're also going to be asked to find which ones are smaller. Now, we've got one half and one third here. Okay. Now, you might straight away think, well, two is smaller than three in the denominator there, so it must be smaller, but you can see that's not the case, okay? Mr. O'Brien eats half the cake, which means it's been cut into two parts, and he eats a third of the cake, which means it's been cut into three parts. Well, if I've eaten half the cake, I've eaten more than if I've eaten a third, haven't I? Because there's still this bit left here. So actually, a third is smaller than a half okay and just think about this being a whole cake and then have a look okay so on your quiz today um you're gonna get you're gonna get the pictures for to color in okay so shade it in first and have a look and then compare them okay but remember just because it's a bigger number at the bottom it doesn't mean it's going to be a bigger fraction and if it's the Small number at the bottom, it doesn't mean it's going to be the smaller fraction, okay? So if the denominator is big, it doesn't mean it's a bigger fraction. And if the denominator is small, it doesn't mean it's the smaller fraction, okay? You need to look and think about how many parts it's been cut into and think about which part, which piece of the cake is going to be the biggest, okay? So shade them in and then think about it. Think about which one's larger and which one's smaller, okay?